Adding an image into a 3D environment has gotten easier than ever in Vectorworks 2011. Today I will show you step by step how to do this. Here we have an art gallery that is missing its final piece. To start, we're going to import an image into the document. Go to the Resource Browser, click on the Resources drop down, and then New Resource In, then select Image. In the dialog box, have Import an Image File selected, and then click OK. Navigate to the file and then click Open. In order for this to work, the image must be imported through the Resource Browser. Now that we have the image in the document, we have to set the working plane to the location we will be setting our image on. With the working plane tool selected and planar face mode set, we're going to click on the surface of the object. Then I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and make sure I'm set to work in the layer plane and then draw my rectangle. This will also work with any of the 2D tools. With my rectangle selected, I'm going to drag the image from the resource browser into the rectangle. There are two ways to now map the image. If you know the exact size of the image, you can set it in the attributes palette. I correlates to width, and J correlates to height. You can also use the attribute mapping tool and use the handles to size the image to fit the rectangle or a combination of both the attribute mapping tool and the attributes palette. Once you're done, render to see the final result. Thank you for joining us for today's video tech tip. Don't forget to check out www.2011delivers.net for new feature demos from Vectorworks 2011. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.